Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to get started shortly. I'm Eric Gomez, President of Golden Boy Promotions. And I want to welcome everybody here to the final press conference of this historic event. So thank you. I want to thank, we're going to get started now. Is anybody missing? Welcome everybody here. I want to thank you for coming out. We have a great turnout uh, for this historic event. And uh, welcome you to the final press conference uh, for Kono Ali, which is going to be a historic event. It's a farewell fight for Miguel Cotto. And uh, all of us are very, very proud of Miguel and excited for this event on Saturday. Um, as you know, obviously Madison Square Garden historic place, a mecca of boxing, but when you combine that with HBO and Miguel Cotto, there's nothing bigger in New York. And we're extremely, extremely happy with the turnout, with the ticket sales, everything uh, related to the show. Tickets are still available, you can still get them, so I want you to uh, let your friends know, family, they're still available, uh, but they're going fast, they're going fast. We had a big push today. We're expecting uh, a bigger push tomorrow and obviously on uh, Saturday night. So come out, you can get them here at the box office or you can get them at Ticketmaster. Okay? Miguel Cotto is one of boxing's most respected fighters. Uh, obviously, he's out of Puerto Rico. He's fought here many, many times at the Garden here in New York. Uh, and this is really like a, like a second home to him. Or it's a, it's a co home with, uh, with Puerto Rico. So. There's no surprise we're getting a great turnout here for the press conference and we're expecting obviously a big turnout on Saturday night. Uh, he's a six-time four division winner champion. He's definitely going to be a Hall of Famer uh, when it's all said and done. But he's got a tough test on Saturday night. He's got a young, hungry lion, the Saddam Ali, that's coming to make a name for himself and to start his own history. And that makes for a great fight. So um, this Saturday, obviously, uh, Saddam's biggest fight of his career. Uh, you got to give credit to his team uh, that's with him right here. Uh, his father, David, has done a great job in managing his career and getting him to this point. Uh, Saddam's ready. He's ready. Uh, he was just telling me a little bit before we started the press conference that he's ready and he's uh, bigger and stronger and faster than ever before. So that makes for an exciting fight on Saturday night. Um, we've always put together, us at Golden Boy, many great events, big fights, but this is this has got to be one of the most satisfying shows for us personally uh, because of the significance of Miguel Cotto, his career, what he's done throughout his boxing career, what he's done in big fights, what he's done here at Madison Square Garden. So for us, obviously, this is it's a little bittersweet because he's retiring, but we know that it's going to be a great celebration on Saturday night. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Uh, again, Koto Ali will be televised on HBO World Championship Boxing at 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I would like to now thank the sponsors who made this available. Tecate Beer, Born Bowl, uh, the official beer of boxing, Hennessy, Never Stop, Never Settle, and Casa Mexico Tequila. And with that, uh, I want to bring up one of the sponsors to say a few words on behalf of Tecate, and that's uh, Tecate's uh, Gustavo Guerra. Gustavo? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Gustavo Guerra, I'm the brand director of Tecate. It's a pleasure to be standing in front of you all today, especially as we celebrate Miguel Corro's last fight against against Saddam Ali. For Tecate, 2017 has been an incredible busy year in boxing. We started off the year right here at the Madison Square Garden. From there, we crisscrossed the country promoting uh, the best fights, including Canelo versus Chavez Jr. in May, Canelo versus Triple G in September. 
and supported many other golden boy fights around the map. Therefore, it's only fitting we wrap up 2017 here with Miguel Scott career right here at the, at the MSG, of course. Over the course of his career, Miguel repeatedly demonstrated to be a ball punching crowd favorite, with an incredible loyalty towards a lot of his native Puerto Rico. When Golden Boy announced they were promoting Miguel's uh, last fight, we wanted to support the promotion as bad as we could, only because this is our backyard, of course, along with being the home of many proud Hispanics, including, of course, Puerto Ricans, that consider boxing as a major passion point. Miguel, I'd like to say a few words to you. We have uh, an incredible, you had an incredible career and you'll be remembered as one of the greatest, of course. You have thousands of fans watching you farewell, including the Tecate team, so salute to that. Salam, this is a hometown fight for you. We wish you the best inside the ring. And as the official beer of boxing, we want consumers to trust whenever they see the Tecate logo on the, on the, on the ring. They can expect two things a legendary fight and a bold experience that will bring box, boxing fans closer to the action. As always, Tecate and Tecate Light would like to raise a glass to Koro and Ali as they ready themselves for Saturday night. Good luck, gentlemen. Can't wait. Gustavo, thank you very much. I just want to mention uh, and remind all of you that this Saturday, the ticket sales, uh, a portion of the ticket sales are going to go to Puerto, Puerto Rico release. So if that's enough incentive to get people to, you know, help out and give back to Puerto Rico, it will go a long way. So just wanted to give you that quick reminder there. Um, we're excited once again, obviously, um, to be able to host this legendary event at the Mecca of Boxing at the Sport Garden, uh, which is the perfect venue to play host to Miguel's last fight. Uh, this is Miguel's second home. We're very excited to be back in New York. That is uh, Miguel. And uh, with that, I want to bring up the Executive Vice President of Marquee Events, Joe Fisher. Thank you, Joe. Thanks a lot, Eric. Um, and welcome, everybody, to Madison Square Garden and Chase Square here. Um, Eric said this, but for us, too, this is a bitter, very bittersweet day. And Saturday will be very bittersweet. Um, we've had a tremendous relationship, a great relationship with Miguel that dates back to 2005. Um, I spent some time with Miguel last night and his family at the Nick game. Great win, by the way. And, um, you know, it was interesting to see his kids, when, when we first started with Miguel, were little kids. Now they're grown. So it's been 12 years together, um, and he's had an incredible, incredible Hall of Fame career. Um, he's sold over 150,000 tickets here. Think about that. Um, 150,000 tickets. This will be, Saturday night will be the 10th time that he's fought here. What makes me really happy and I think his family really happy and all, all of us is Miguel is going out on his own terms. Um, and that's a great way to do it. I want to welcome back Saddam Ali, you know, a native from Brooklyn here in New York. I'm sure he's going to be come out and look to spoil Miguel's night. So it should be a really great night of boxing. Um, it's really tremendous to be working with Eric, Oscar, Robert, Monica, the entire staff from Golden Boy. They do it right. They're great partners. We've had you know a great relationship with them and we'll continue to do more and more things with Golden Boy. Um, it's also the second week in a row, of three weeks in a row of fights. We have to fight next week. Um, but the second week in a row, we're working with HBO and Peter Nelson, and, and it's just a great relationship, and for the people that can't make it here for the fight, although as Eric said, there are still some tickets available, um, you'll see a great production and a great show on um, HBO on Saturday night. So before I end, I want to bring out, we have a gift um, for Miguel. Um, you know, Miguel, Every time he fought here, he always laid everything on the line. You know, blood, sweat, you know, everything that he could put into a fight, he put into a fight. Um, he's had a Hall of Fame career. We all know he's going into the Hall of Fame. Um, he's what makes the garden and boxing what it is. It's the mecca of boxing, and Miguel is one of those fighters that makes what we do here so special. Um, he's carried the flame for boxing 
um, for 12 years. Um, and we work with them with this collage, which you'll see is a collage of all his fights that took place here at the Guard. Uh, we wish Miguel all the best. Good luck on Saturday night. Um, and it should be a great, great night. So. We'll see you on Saturday night for a great event. Thank you, Joe. I just want to acknowledge your team. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. It's always great to work with you guys, Sal Federico, who does a great job, and uh, it's always a pleasure to work with you guys. So thank you. Yeah, Sal. <laughs> uh, for us at Golden Boy, it's been, obviously, it's been a big year, record-setting year for us. Uh, we've had some big events, uh, and uh, we're going into the 12th round <laughs> this year. And uh, there's no better partner than Madison Square Garden, and obviously HBO. HBO put together a great card just last, last Saturday here. Uh, in amazing ratings, amazing, amazing, very strong ratings. We're very happy for that. And this Saturday will be no different. And uh, I gotta give a lot of credit uh, to Peter Nelson, who's the executive vice president of HBO Sports. He's done a great job, and he's continued to be committed to boxing and bringing these events. So I want to bring him up to say a few words and uh, congratulate him for a great week last week. And we're gonna finish strong this year with this Saturday, and obviously we've got two other shows coming up that are gonna be amazing. So, Peter. Thank you, Eric. And I want to thank all the media for being here. It's the work that you do that keeps boxing as vibrant as it is. Obviously, we want to thank Madison Square Garden, Joel, Sal, everyone on the team here. It's a privilege to work with you guys. I want to thank the fighters, their teams. I want to thank Saddam Ali's Taylor. Um, this is a special day. going straight from here to what James Bond said. I don't know how he does it. He works a lot into his schedule. Um, Miguel, privilege to have you back on the network for your final fight. Um, this is his 24th appearance on HBO. It's been a long, historic journey, first ballot Hall of Famer, and it's been a great honor for HBO to be able to associate our brand with your career. Uh, you're a terrific ambassador to the sport, and while we're sad to see you leave the ring after Saturday night, we know that you're going to stay in the sport, scouting, promoting the next generation of fighters. One of your young champions is here, I think. Is Machado here? Where is he? Where are you? There you go. Give this man a round of applause. One of our first world fighter on HBO, the next generation of Puerto Rican champions. Promoted by the Gale Park Promotions with Golden Boy. We'll be seeing you next year. And I think what we decided when we wanted to put this fight on, and we talked with Golden Boy, and Miguel and his team about this is that we wanted the best fight possible. Miguel has never walked away from any challenge. He's always stepped in the ring against every opponent imaginable. The toughest fights of his career, rematches, any challenge that presented itself that fans wanted to see, Miguel Cotto wanted to rise to that occasion. And the Saturday night's going to be no different. You, a a Hall of Fame fighter who wants to cement his legacy against a young, hungry fighter that wants to establish his. And these are the kinds of matchups that legends get made from. You have one of the great trainers, Andre Rozier, who would more than anything else love to get a win over the greatest trainer of all time, Freddie Roach. We've got two world championship fights. We've got a great night of fights on the undercard. So if you can get a ticket, please do. Set your DVR and we'll see you all on Saturday night. Look forward to seeing you there. Thanks very much. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much. So, um, 
this is the first, this is the second fight we're working with Miguel Cotto and his team. Obviously, Miguel is going to be a future Hall of Famer. He's worked with only two promoters pretty much his entire career. So when he came to us for us to work with him, it was a big honor for us. He didn't have to do that. You know, he could have gone out and, and, and you know created his own company, which he has, and he could probably done it himself. But for us at Golden Boy Promotions, it's been nothing but a pleasure uh, to work with and his team, he's got an incredible team, and Brian and Hector. And uh, those guys were tirelessly, tirelessly uh, to, pro to promote not only Miguel, but also to promote Puerto Rican boxing. Uh, and, you know, like Peter mentioned, uh, Machado, which is a great young champion, uh, is, is the fruits of their labor. So I want to bring up uh, Hector Soto to say a few words. He's the VP of Miguel Coco Promotions. They've been great partners. He's a, a very, very hard worker, and uh, I see a very, a, a very fruitful uh, future with Coco Promotions and Golden Boy Promotions. We've got a lot of things planned for next year and for years to come. So, if I can bring him up, uh, Hector Soto. Hector? Good afternoon to everyone. Este sábado 2 va a ser una noche bien grande. Eh, agradecer a, a HBO por la oportunidad, a, a Peter Nelson, a Joe Beecher de Madison por, por la oportunidad en estos pasados 10 combates aquí en Miguel de Madison. This Saturday is going to be a very emotional, very great event. I want to thank everyone involved. I want to thank HBO, Peter Nelson, Mr. Fisher with the Madison Square Garden. To be our 10th fight here. Un agradecimiento muy especial a El Gómez, Oscar, Robert Díaz. Ellos tienen un compromiso muy grande en el boxeo en Puerto Rico. En cinco meses, con el favor de Dios, si va a estar el sábado, ya se campeón mundial. Eh, que terminamos por lo menos el año en la isla con cuatro campeones mundiales. And we want to thank Oscar, Eric, Robert, because in five months, God willing, on Saturday night, Puerto Rico will have had four world champions within a short period of time, five months. De Miguel, pues, darle las gracias. Desde el 2010, me ha dado la oportunidad de estar aquí con él. And to Miguel, I want to thank him for giving me this opportunity since 2010 to be here with you. Nada, el, a Ali, la gracia por, por aceptar el récord, el récord de, de Miguel, y, y el domingo 3 vamos a celebrar el récord. And to Ali and his team, thank you so much for accepting the challenge. And on Sunday, we'll all celebrate a great career. Thank you so much. Gracias. Uh, so obviously with this, uh, with this fight, the magnitude of the fight. I gotta remind everybody, this is a world title fight. Miguel is the world champion, WBO uh, junior middleweight world champion. Uh, and he won that in his last fight against Kamagai, and that's gonna be on the line. Uh, and it's always very, very um, important for us to be able to present these world title fights with you. And there's no better organization than the WBO. Uh, they give fighters from all walks of life, from every country, opportunities to become world champions. And uh, this Saturday won't be any different. So I want to bring up the president, say a few words, the WBO, everybody's favorite president <laughs> in boxing, and that's uh, Paco Valdez. Paco. Thank you, Eric, and uh, thank you, my guys, to all for being here. I have a good friend here, you know, the guy, Eric and Peter. Peter, thank you for your, your support to walking my Thank you for the, uh, you know, for the uh, support in the show. Alan, uh, nice to see you again. The guy is somewhere here. Uh, uh, you know, 